Hi you guys, Lindsay here. Well, welcome back to my channel, Inside to Him. All right, you guys, McCall's is out with their new fall collection. I know it might feel a little bit soon since I feel like we literally just did early fall, but alas, here we are talking fall. Also, just a heads up, I'm getting over a little like chest situation. So if my voice sounds a little deeper than usual and raspy, enjoy it. Um, okay, first up, Nicole Miller. All right, we have got a jacket and skirt obsessed. Okay, this is good. This is really good, guys. I love a little matchy matchy jacket suit or jacket skirt, jacket short situation. Uh, when the fabrics match, I, I just think the proportions are always really good. And it's a very like elevated, but still kind of casual look. I'm obsessed. Let's look at some more pictures. Uh, so there's the skirt styled beautifully. And I think, yeah, the sleeves are like flared with little buttons possibly. That's not as flattering. <laughs> I mean, the pose. Look. Oh, my God. That's so good. This seems a little bit big, but that can be fixed with a little muslin. How cute. I love this. Okay. So it does say loose fitting. The jacket is supposed to be loose fitting. So the ease up here makes sense. I mean, obviously, you could make it a little more close fitting if you prefer. The jacket is lined. It has patch pockets, which you can barely see in this fabric. Yeah, I can't see them at all. Welt pockets also and top stitch seams. Sleeves have attached flounce, allowing longer length. That's an interesting way to say that. Semi-fitted lined skirt has front and back yoke and center back zipper. So I'm guessing what they're saying is you could just leave this off and not have... And just have like a, I don't know, I guess it would be like elbow length. Here are the patch pockets. Here are the welt pockets. So it's a little bit more like a denim jacket style. Like I said, very hard to see in any of these pictures. Because the fabric is just so busy. What is this fabric? Those are like little metal applique type things. Um, the back has a yoke and the front has a yoke, which is nice. Button front. Cool. And then the skirt is like very, very simple. Um, these skirts don't typically look super flattering on me, but I could do some seat adjustments and possibly get it a little bit better. But this jacket is so cute. So, so cute. Um, okay, here's what they're recommending for fabrics. Novelty fabric, brocade, super cute, jacquard, denim, and then your lining fabrics. You need a ton of buttons, an invisible zipper and hook and eye for the skirt. And then here's your yardage for the jacket and the yardage for your skirt. Interfacing for the waistband, interfacing for the collar and probably the button placket. You've got your bust line measurements and your hip line measurements. Yay. Thank you. <laughs> Especially for like a fitted skirt like that. That's nice. Okay, great. Good start. Way to go, Nicole Miller. All right, next up we've got this. Okay, so they came out so th last year. These little like blazers as dresses were very trendy. I think that Meghan Markle wore one. A, a lot of celebrities were wearing them. They had, I got a pattern. I can't remember who it was. Maybe Berta Style? Definitely. It was Berta Style. Um, but here we are with McCall's having their own version. I have a fabric ready for, to go for this and everything. I am definitely all about this trend. Um, I think it's super cute and super chic. The, here's the short sleeve version, which is what a lot of most people, most celebrities were wearing last year. Here it is with a really cute, like asymmetrical something happening. I just think it's a really fun, classy 
trend. Pretty darts in the back, giving some beautiful shaping. Adorable. Loose fitting lined double breasted dress has sleeveless or long sleeve variation. Angled hem for C. Gorgeous and so simple, guys. This is not a complicated thing to make, but it looks like a million bucks. So cute. Yardage, wool blends, gabardine, crepe, suiting fabrics. Is it fully lined? Yeah, fully lined. So you need all your lining fabrics. A bunch of buttons, bias tape. I wonder, I guess the bias tape might be for the armhole, but it's lined. So you shouldn't need to do that. I don't know. I think sometimes they use the bias tape to make the make it easier to for beginners to sew or for newer sewists to sew. And then here's your um, fabric requirements. Maybe it's not fully lined. The lining is a lot smaller by a yard than the fabric. Maybe the sleeves aren't lined. That seems weird. I would just line the whole thing. Okay, finished garment. I feel like they're listening. Okay, bust line is here. Hip line is here. Perfect, perfect. Yay, thank you so much. That's wonderful. It's kind of odd, though, that the bust line and the hip line measurements are the same, but I guess that's because it is supposed to be loose fitting through the bust. Loose fitting, see? Um, so, I mean, take that for what you want. You could also always just make the smaller bust line than what you would normally, um, and have it a little bit more close fitting and graded out to the hip. Cute. Love it. Very trendy. Awesome. Okay. Now we've got a dress, uh, kind of like in a shirt dress style, um, with your patch pockets, beautiful top stitching. You've got this interesting seam here, it's like a yoke, but doesn't go all the way across. I don't really know what that's called. Um, and then a two-piece sleeve and a cuff and like just a lot of seaming details. That's fun. Here it is in a very interesting <laughs> combination of fabrics. It must be like flannel and lace, I guess. There it is in denim again. Kind of very like Western looking with this detail here. Cute, though, with the booties especially. Rolled up sleeve is cute. Yeah, and then, like, the shaped back yoke. Beautiful back darts. Again, are they listening? Are you guys watching my videos? Um, Jackie Polikoff is a designer for McCall's. Um, met her in person. She's super, super sweet. So who knows? Maybe she is listening. <laughs> Although I don't know how much control she has over, like, I mean, just probably just the designs, not so much like the bus line, hip line measurements being included, but who knows? Okay, dress has a fitted bodice, button front opening, patch pockets with buttons and flaps, three-piece sleeve, three piece sleeve with button cuff, top stitching details, and skirt variations. I do really love the kind of flared skirt, especially still if you did it in a denim. I think that that would be fun too. Um, fit issue wise, the only thing I see is this just looks a little bit short, especially on the side. Um, so just check that if you're a little bit taller. Yeah, and then there it is. I think it's fun. It certainly would be a lot of fun to sew with all that top stitching. And you could find some really fun fabrics to play off of as well. I mean, a flannel dress, how comfortable does that sound? It would be like wearable pajamas, really. Okay, fabrics are cotton blends, denim, chambray, poplin, and then you can do a lace contrast. Here's your fabric requirements. And they don't give any finished garment me measurements on this one at all. That's so weird. Like, what? <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm just going to take the good with the bad. We got them on two patterns. So, okay, here's another dress. It's like a sweater dress. This version's really cute. I love this little 
Jackie O neckline and this full sleeve with the cuff. Eh, this is not for my body type, but for those of you who have less curves, this will definitely give those to you. This feels very ready to wear, right? I feel like I've seen this in stores. Look at this. So cute. That's a fun, fun outfit. And then there's the back. Okay, they're calling it very easy. Fitted dresses have long or short sleeves. Do we see a short sleeve? Oh, this. With pleats and cuffs, neck band and hem band. Contrast collar sleeve bands and hem band, collar sleeve. Band. Okay, so just different riffs on um, contrast fabric and stuff. So this one has the pleats on the shoulder, and this one has them down here. So I presume you would get two different sleeve pieces, which is fun. No collar here at all, but I like the collar, honestly. Super cute. This is adorable. No darting or anything like that. But because it's a sweater, like a kind of a stretchy fabric, um, you may not need that as much as you would think. Not like wovens. Okay, yeah, stretch knits, 35%. So sweater knits, interlock, velvet knits, and rib knit. Rib knit would be super cute. And you need some seam binding. It comes in the alphanumeric sizing. You do not need a lot of fabric which is nice and no measurements at all. Cute. I love this. Okay. Oh, this is fun. Guys, I'm like, it's like five for five. I like all of these. Okay. This is Laura Ashley. Um, it's hard to tell, but it looks like we've got like a little something happening with the sleeve with like I don't know, something happening here, a little bow situation. This must be a purchased belt. A little ruffle detail down here. Oh, that's cute detail. I've seen that a lot and ready to wear lately. Elasticized waist. There's the little neckline again. That's the, this is a long sleeve version of what she's wearing. I think that's adorable. I love like a flowy, flouncy dress in fall, especially with like the colors of fall, you know, these like deeper jewel tones. So cute. And guys, you could totally wear this in the spring too. Cute. Loose fitting pullover dress has collar extending into tie ends, elasticized waist and sleeve variations. cute and so easy to sew okay crepe chalet charmeuse cotton blends yeah all that lightweight stuff uh, bias tape elastic and elastic for the sleeve okay here's your fabric and some useless finished garment measurements cute another good one way to go Laura Ashley Okay, here's a learn to sew for fun. So for those of you that did my sew along, this could be something that you could tackle even if you've only made one other garment. It looks like it might be knit. Possibly, this looks knitish to me. Um, you've got like a wrap situation happening with a dolman sleeve. Very 80s. This big long cuff, fitted skirt. Here it is with a circle skirt. This is the full sleeve and set in. Interesting. You got a lot of options with this guy. I kind of really dig this kind of drapey off the shoulder dolman situation happening though. Even if you did the fuller skirt with it, I still think that would be really cute too. Yeah, learn to sew with knits. Awesome. Learn to attach a knit band. I don't know what that means. 
learn to sew a faux wrap front, learn to sew a floating casing. Again, I don't know what that is either. Maybe for the waistband, there's elastic in there maybe. Dress has close fitting faux wrap bodice with band and elasticized waist. Faux wrap bodice with band. I'm guessing that's her neckline. There's a band in here. Yeah, that must be it. And then, yeah, there's an elastic casing inside. Narrow hem armhole finish. Long sleeve, three-quarter sleeve. Okay. Cute. Yeah, here's the neckband. I love this version. This version's super cute, too. This version with a sleeve, this long sleeve would, would, would be adorable. And then, of course, you could do the sleeve here or here. You know, you could play with sleeve length. You could have a lot of different garments with one pattern, which is nice. Cotton knits, interlock knit, rib knit, sweater knit. Yeah, that double brush poly, if any of you had that in your stash, I feel like we were all, like, obsessed with that for a moment. Uh, might still be. Um, that would be a good option, especially for this dolman sleeve one. Who wants to sew along? Let me know in the comments. Alphanumeric sizing, and they all come in one pattern, so you don't have to worry about which pattern am I going to buy? Is it going to be the right size? They're all there. Here's your fabric. You really don't need a lot. Cute. That one's really fun. Okay, now we've got another Laura Ashley. Before you knock the sleeves, these sleeves are all the rage on the runways everyone's remember we've been in the sleeve the statement sleeve trend for a while now um we were going with volume for a while on like the bottom half now we're doing a lot of this stuff so just keep an open mind um the rest of the pattern looks really lovely you've got this kind of wrap front with like some kind of dart or pleat or something this beautiful little tie and these lovely tears. Here it is in a shorter version. That is totally street wearable, right? Like I, you could see that on the street. That's very cute. Here it is in a dressier fabric. Beautiful for date night. Pretty shaping through here. We'll look at the line drawings here in a second. I mean, it does give you an hourglass shape. You know, it's like adding width to your shoulders and then your waistline comes in and your hip goes out. I mean, it's a little Victorian, okay? It's a little 80s happening, but it's a statement. Wrap dress, fitted at bust, has long or elbow length sleeve, bias cut skirt, a oh, bias cut skirt, that makes me love it even more, and flounce variations. The bias cut skirt is just going to allow it, let's try and find a better picture, allow it to drape on your bottom half just more naturally, more close fitting. It's going to... Like, hug your curves, but not in a clingy way. It, it just, like, lays over them. I don't know. It's very flattering. Very, very flattering. Um, I, I will say I do prefer the shorter version with the short sleeve and the short skirt. But who knows? Maybe one day I will go for all in on the long sleeve. I don't know about this version. That That's a little too, too much. Also, maybe I'm just in a really good mood today. I don't know. I'm like liking every single pattern. Okay, crepes, crepe de chine, charmeuse, chalet. Oh, and then you need some netting for a sleeve heading. I've never even done a sleeve heading before, I don't think. One little button and grow grain ribbon. I don't know. Oh, because it's a true wrap dress. Yeah, so on the inside there is, look, it ties you have your kind of standard sizing um and then here's your fabric. actually you need a lot of fabric for this I guess that sleeve probably takes up a ton 
netting, interfacing, and then you've got your bust line and your hip line measurements. I mean, if you're going to make one like funky statement thing this year, then I, that should probably be it. Okay, this is a top romper and overalls. Bang for your buck. Okay, well, it's just, I, I don't love a center front zipper, full body. Like having a zipper end at your crotch to me, there, I don't know, there's something inherently wrong <laughs> with that. But I don't know. I don't, okay, the top is adorable. I'm guessing this is all trim sewn onto fabric, I guess. And then these little tucks, the high neckline, this is really cute. Yeah, the romper has the zipper too. I don't know about that, guys. Here's the top. It's the same as the one she has on. Yeah, I think so. Look how cute with the flared jeans. Are these jeans part of the new collection? Because that would be awesome. I don't know. This could be cute. I, I'm not going to say necessarily that it's like reserved for a certain age group or for a certain body type. It's just for a certain style. Cert people with certain... I don't, gosh. Oh, the back's adorable. Although the pockets are a little small. I don't necessarily know that I agree with wearing the top and the overalls together either. Um, maybe that's it. Maybe that's why I'm not, maybe I got to try and ignore the top. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, overalls are one of those things that like, there are a lot of different patterns out there for them. McCall's even already has some from previous seasons. And these aren't just jumping out at me as something that like, I have to have loose fitting top has button front band lace insets back yoke armhole ruffle and sleeves with pin dunk details okay it is a loose fitting top has buttoned front band lace insets back yoke armhole ruffle and sleeves with pin tuck details romper and overalls have side oh sorry slide buckles center front zipper closure patch pockets with snap closures and top stitching details okay we got it the top is super cute but I don't buy patterns that I only like one of the things. I mean, maybe if it goes on sale for $2 at Joanne, but yeah. Ah, I mean, the line drawing's cute and the back is adorable. I'm assuming this is all a facing and this is really pretty. So I don't know. I just don't know about that front zip. I mean, I guess you could move it to the back, but... I don't really need overalls. Okay. Fabrics for the top are lawn, cotton blends, voile, and polished cotton. And then for the overalls and uh, romper, twill, denim, chino, baby corduroy. That's cute. All right. 14 shank buttons. 14 shank buttons for the top? Goodness. Um, a whole bunch of eyelet trim. And then you need, yeah, you need like a ton of stuff for the um, overalls. Here's your fabric requirements. Measurement at bust line for the top and hip line for the overalls. Yeah, very loose fitting top. And then, yeah, you have your kind of standard sizing 6 to 14 and then 14 to 22 all right oops no go back uh, okay now we've got a cropped jacket it's like a moto-esque cute look at that super cropped that's like your waistline that's fun Oh, this reminds me of the Taylor Swift, uh, not People, Entertainment Weekly maybe, where she did all the patches. Big Taylor Swift fan here, if you don't know that already. Like, very big. 
Um, yeah, and then there she is. I bet the fabric options for this are a ton of fun. Loose fitting, unlined, button front jackets have front and lower bands, pieced sleeves with cuffs, and collar variations. Raw edge finish at lower edge on this A. That's kind of cool too. Pleated pockets with band, which is these, and purchased appliques. Fun. I have a lot of ideas for this already. There's our line drawings. I kind of love this color. But this one's super cute too. And I really appreciate all the button fronts. Those are harder to find than you may realize. Um, you know, so often they're doing like the zipper front. Denim, twill, chino, and faux suede are what they're recommending. But I mean, obviously you could do a faux leather. Ugh, this in a suede would be exceptional. Um, you could do corduroy. You could even do like a heavyweight sweatshirt fleece and make like a bomber style sweatshirt thing. There's a lot of really great fabrics you could use for this. Cool. All right. Buttons, 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 and appliques. Here's your fabric requirements. You really don't need much. They're doing the alphanumeric sizing, which is good. And then bust line measurement, which, I mean, it's pretty loose fitting on the bust. So cute. I'll be getting this one for sure. Oh, fun. Fringe. Okay. Wow. Wow. Okay. Um, I mean, it's just that the faux leather is like super cheap looking. I would rather they have picked something a little more less plastic. Let's just call it that. But fun concept. That's interesting. You can see the seam lines really well there. Oh, okay. That's adorable. These are all like um, coating fabrics, I guess. No. No. Concept, good, execution, no. Fitted online jacket has seam details and center front separating zipper, self fringe, C has contrast. And no provisions for above waist adjustment. Okay. Cute. I, don't get me wrong. I don't not like this. I just don't like it in the plastic leather that they bought it in. This one with the like monochromatic situation happening is a, adorable. All right. Cotton blends and brocades. For A and C, and then faux suede, denim, twill. You just need one zipper. See how the zip front jacket. Um, and then your standard sizing. Here is your um, fabric requirements. And then you've got a bust line measurement and a lower edge measurement, which for this is kind of like a hip measurement, sort of. Okay, cute. Ooh. Okay. We've got a little top here. Uh, okay, it's just like a little overlay. Yeah, super easy to cut out, that's for sure. But it's got like a neckband, a little tie situation, a ruffle, and then something happening here. I don't know exactly what that is. There's the exact, oh, this is without the ruffle. Okay, okay. Okay, yeah, not really my style. I just don't know why I wouldn't just wear a regular cardigan. I guess because the fabrics are more fun. I don't know. This just seems like I don't really need this. 
but maybe I do. Maybe I'm wrong. Very loose fitting tops have front tucks. Oh, that's what that other seam line is, this one. Front and back band and front tie cord enclosure. Side ruffles and narrow hem, lower ruffles and stitched hem. A oh, this, this little thing has some ruffles. Okay. Yeah, like that. Huh. I mean, okay. Sure. Crepe, Shally, Crepe to Change, Georgette, Cording, Alphanumeric Sizing. God, you kind of need a lot of fabric. Like, yeah, it's like one of those things, like, why wouldn't I just make a dress out of this fabric? You know what I mean? That's a lot of fabric for something that's just, like, not, I guess it's just not my style. I guess that's all it comes down to. Okay. Ooh, this is cute. Mrs. Romper and jumpsuits. And yes, I love the ankle tie situation thing. It's a fitted bodice, which is nice. These huge sleeves, which are adorable. This is the romper. So cute. Oh, here it is without the ankle tie. This is amazing. Every, everyone's going to be making this. This is going to be their bestseller for sure. So cute. I need this. Jumpsuit romper fitted at midriff. Has center back invisible zipper. Gathered bodice and pants. Sleeve and length variations. And then A has a sheer overlay. Which obviously you can just omit. <laughs> Cute. I love them all. I love them all. This is happening. Okay. Crepe, Shally, Charmeuse, and then the overlay it's, would be sheer, and then there's, I guess the bodice is lined. It doesn't say, but I'm assuming the bodice is lined. Standard sizing. This is the romper. This is the jump so, oh no, that's the overlay for the romper. This is the jumpsuit and then the romper, I guess. Yeah, and just a lined bodice. Finished bust line measurement and hip line measurement. Yeah, this is definitely happening. All the versions. All of them. So cute. Okay. Now we've got, okay, this like cut out mock turtleneck. Okay. So let's see here. We've got a crop top version. We've got a full length version with like a lace inset thing. Yep. Okay. Yeah, just kind of like a basic layering piece, but then they added in this little detail, which I can't tell if I like or not. You know, it's interesting, but is it weird? You know, interesting and weird. There's a fine line there. Close fitting tops or pull over with snap closing. What does that even mean? Oh, this in the back, right? Has this, I don't know what they're saying. I don't know where it snaps. Mock collar or neck band has length variations, contrast yoke, four-way stretch in its own length. I don't know where, oh, it's also a bodysuit. That's why. You know, it might have been helpful for them to use that bodysuit as a line drawing and have put her in this version, but what do I know? So yeah, bodysuit's fun. All right, two-way stretch knits with 50% stretch. Jerseys, rib knit, and all, yes. Stretch lace for the little inset thing. Um, 
elastic for your leg openings and snap tape for the closure. And then here's your fabric requirements and then no finished garment measurements. Yeah, okay. I mean, you could obviously redraft this so that this is closed, but. All right, next up, I think, yeah, we have her pants, these plaid pants that she's wearing. Cute. There it is in like a long short. Uh, that looks the same as what she's wearing. Okay. I mean, they look great on her. They fit her really well. Oh, it's a learn to sew for fun level two. I didn't realize that. Fly front zipper. Yeah, that's, I would say, level three. Side pocket and learn to sew a sash. But a fly front zipper, that's no joke. <clears throat> Shorts and tapered pants sit one inch below waist, have fly front with waistband, hook and bar closure, and side seam pockets. Yeah, uh, I don't know about learning to sew, but by all means. So the shaping here is nice. I mean, it is a tapered leg, but it's not too tapered. <laughs> I don't know. You know how I am about pants, especially the fitted they are the more strong feelings I have toward them. Fabrics are wool blends, gabardine, cotton blends, and crepes. Obviously, my favorite cotton sateen would be great for this. If, if it has a little bit of stretch in it, it's a little bit easier to wear, you know, because you have all that movement in the fabric. Um, okay, so I think these are probably, wow, you don't need a ton of fabric for any of these at all, under two yards, so that's nice. And then here's your finished hip line measurement, which should be fairly close to what your actual body measurements are. So keep that in mind. Standard sizing. All right. I'm surprised that's a learn to sew pattern, honestly. Okay, here's Melissa Watson for Palmer Plush. You know, Palmer Plush is the people who do like the... Um, pattern adjustment they draw all the lines on the pattern pieces so like if you need a full bust adjustment for example all of those would be drawn on to the pattern pieces making it really easy for you to learn how to make those adjustments um okay so this is just a button front shirt with some hemline variations and this one had a covered button placket and looks like this one is exposed okay yeah I mean not super it's a little basic you know close fitting in two lengths have collar collar band yoke pant uh, back pleats sleeve variation stitch tim sleeve placket I got to say, though, if you made this, I'm sure it would look like a million bucks and be finished very beautifully and, you know, you'd look great. Partially hidden button closure, shirt tail hem, top stitching, and then this one has side slits and a longer back. So I guess partial, that's interesting. So it only covers like half of it. Yeah, and I bet they're recommending like silks and stuff, right? Crepe, crepe de chine, charmeuse, and poplin. I don't know. I would do like a sanded silk or some kind of like crepe back satin maybe would be nice. And then you need a whole bunch of buttons. <clears throat> and then here's your fabric requirements and your finished bust line measurement. And like I said, on a top, this is this measurement here. The width is sort of like your hip measurement, sort of. Okay, moving right along, we've got another little top here. This one's cute with this little flouncy thing. You know I love a flounce. It's like a button-up kimono style top. It's got to be comfortable, right? 
there it is with like some, I don't know, those are skinny pants necessarily, but they are close fitting. The length is really good. Not too tunic length and not too short. Cute. I like this one. Very loose fitting tops have button front closure with front band double back yoke. Pleat at back collar with collar band. And sleeve variations and hem band. What do they mean by double back yoke? Maybe just that it's like lined for lack of a better term. I guess. I don't know what that means. <clears throat> yeah, you know, I like this little ruffle version. Cute. I don't know about the contrasty version, but this one and this one, yes. Crepe, crepe de chine, poplin, chalet. And then you need like basically a yard of fabric. That's not bad. The one with the flounces though, is that B? No. C. Yeah, C. Why do you need so much for B? Oh, oh, because it's contrast. Okay, okay, okay. I'm losing my mind. Sorry. And then there's your bust line measurement, but honestly, like it's so loose fitting. I don't know that that really matters. Cute. I will make that. I need more like fallish tops. I need more tops in general, but Okay, now we've got a blouse with a lace inset and like a neck tie thing and like a half pocket. Kind of a lot going on. Definitely a lot going on. That's cute. I mean, she looks very high fashion, you know, very like stylish. It certainly is a fun take on a button-down shirt, right? Okay, very loose-fitting blouse has front band with concealed button closure, which is really fun to sew. I've done that before. It is a very fun finish. Um, yoke and sleeve inset and button cuff. A to C, collar extends to tie end, and B patch pocket and shaped hemline. So B doesn't have a collar at all. And A and C have this little like tie, which I actually really like. All right. Yeah. It's like, uh, it doesn't actually tie though, which is also very interesting. It like, I don't know. Is it kind of like a belt loop and it slides through? I don't know. It's hard to tell. Yeah. Look at that. That's cool. Let's get a closer up picture. Yeah, it's still kind of hard to tell what's going on there, but it's not necessarily just a tie. I feel like it's like a belt loop and you just slip it through. That's cool. I like that detail a lot. That's fun. Okay. Crepe, crepe machine, poplin, chalet, and lace. Okay. Also, like, some cottons. I feel like this is, like, some kind of cotton. Um wall, you know, those kinds of things I think would also work. And then you need your buttons. Here's your fabric requirements. And then bust line and hip line measurements. This hip line would be the most important for me. Cute. Okay. Now we've got a skirt and belt fitted skirt, pencil skirt. Yep. There's the belt. It looks kind of like a cummerbund to be honest. Oh wait, there's that belt too. Yeah. Basic, basic, but in this like faux, what is that? Cheetah? Um, that's really nice. I do find that like with these basic patterns, being able to like use a really like special fabric does elevate it a lot. The back looks lovely. There's little darts here. 
center back seam with a vent. Very nice. Very nice finishing. Fitted line skirts have front pleats, back darts, invisible zipper, hook and bar closure, and length variations. A has waistband tucks. That's what that is. That's cool. I like that. C, or sorry, B and C have back vent, and C has a belt and carriers. I guess A is so short you don't need the vent. And honestly, learning to make a belt like that, that is made of self-fabric, that is a skill I think everyone should know. It really, you can add them to, you know, dress waistbands and skirts and pants, and it really creates a really chic look. Okay, yeah, faux leather, cotton blends, satin wool blends, so yeah, elegant. Kind of like higher end stuff. You need your zipper and then your belting and all of that kind of stuff. Fabric, you probably don't need much at all because it's just a little itty bitty skirt. And then useless finished garment measurements. Standard sizing. Yeah, I mean, I don't love pencil skirts on myself, but if you do, this seems to be just as good of one as any. Then we've got those pants that the girl was wearing earlier. Flares are back, people. Um, like... I guess, is this princess seam? I don't know what that would be called. There they are with patch pockets. Yep. I think they use two different denims here. That's kind of a fun concept. Oh, never mind. <laughs> no, faux chaps. No. <laughs> No, I don't need that much attention on my my lower derriere. But in theory, cool concept. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at that. I don't even know if I would want that in the same fabric, much less contrast fabric. Look at that. That's hysterical. Couldn't they have just made this go all the way up and kept this all, this whole center part? Why do they have to make it like that? Is that supposed to make your butt look better? <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Denim, twill, chino, cotton blends. Also corduroy would be great. Heck, even like a stretch suede would be nice. And then there's your fabric requirements. Is C shorter? Oh, no, because again, with the contrast, geez. All right, there you go. That's really funny, okay. All right, and then we've just got two costumes. Wow, those are some interesting costumes, okay. Well, <laughs> That is going to do it for McCall's fall. I feel like we got off to a very, very strong start. And um, they had some really, really cute, fun, trendy, but also classic uh, options. I love the outerwear. Um, there's probably like three or four that I'll add to my wish list. Definitely this top, that Nicole Miller suit. This is for sure happening. I loved this one so much. Oh, also this one. So yeah, a lot of really good options here. Of course, as always, let me know what you guys think of the new collection, which patterns you'll be adding. If you're speaking specifically about a pattern, be sure to like sit, not just say the pattern number, um, say some detail like, you know, the jumpsuit with the ankle ties or something like that so that I can know what you're talking about because I do not have the pattern numbers memorized. Um, if this is your first time on my channel and this is your first of my first impression videos, first of all, welcome. Second of all, 
be sure to subscribe. Um, we've still got, I think, Simplicity Fall, Butterick Fall, Quick Sew, Fall Winter. Um, there's still a bunch more of these that have yet to come out. So there will be more. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please let me know in the comments section below or give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you all very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.